questions tonight? Um, I thought we had a little bit more. Did, did we not have more than 14? I thought we had more than It was like a little over. close to 14, maybe 16. I thought we were over 20. I'll, I'll double check it. But still, I, I, I thought we got enough work in. Um, the, the objective was to go out there, uh, get our old line together for the first time, um, uh, and just go and execute uh, the best way we know. I felt like they moved the ball well. Um, a sloppy turnover from Michael uh, with the fumble, sloppy interception uh, on the uh, with Joe, but um, and the the you know just you could see we we're just a little out of sync with the offensive line in terms of the run game and our running backs hitting the hole the way they needed to, and uh, uh, so that part's got to be better. But uh, overall, it was it, you could see this was a necessary evil to get these guys out on the football field so they can play together. Are you concerned at all that that there was some of that that sloppiness and, and that there was kind of the being out of sync a little bit, considering you know you don't have another preseason game to correct that. You just have the regular season. No, uh, I'm I'm not concerned. You get uh, another preseason game won't make a difference. We've uh, we've got it on tape. The second group came in and executed exactly the way you wanted to against the same group of guys, and they march up and down the field. So it's in there. It'll be fine. I'm not I'm not overly concerned. But uh, um, it was it was good to get these guys out there so they can go play. Think about sending Joe back out after that play, or were you no? Sending- I, I I had capped it. I had capped it at that. The the, the the competitive the competitive spirit wanted to send him out again, but had to think better. What did you think of Mims' performance? Uh, I thought he he was he was gritty. He was gritty. He um, you know we ran out of receivers there at the end, um, and he was he fought all the way through. Took every single snap that he needed to take. Uh, won some contested footballs. Uh, and he absolutely fought, and that's uh, and he's finally been giving himself an opportunity in terms of the game to go showcase that. It's what he's been doing since OTAs, and it was good to see him do it in the in uh, in a game setting. What do you think his future is with this team, Robert? Uh, it, like I've said, he's 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 one of our our six best receivers, and he's going to be here as far as I'm concerned, unless uh, all the other questions are for Joe. Oh, with uh, White and. Uh, both quarterbacks playing well this evening. How does that affect how your decisions going forward? Oh, it's uh, uh, has been awesome. Mike White had well, the type of game that we've we've come to expect out of him. Uh, Mike's a really good quarterback, and I know the first couple games kind of left a, a bad taste in his mouth, and so for him to have the game he had was really good. Um, Strevler again. I mean, it's it's. I think he's probably had one of the greatest preseasons in, in the history of football. I mean, it's been awesome. <laughs> Um, I mean, made made the decision to go for it at the end very easy, knowing that the ball was in his hands and just knew you were going to get it. So, um, you know, really pumped for him and uh, uh, all those discussions with the quarterback room will happen tomorrow. I um, like what you got from your defensive line. Yeah. Um, you know, I, now on the flip side, I wanted, the, you know, the, the defense, the intent was to get them a little bit more. And it was so dominant in the first two series. It, it was enough was enough and uh, really thought they played fast, violent. Uh, the back end was sticky. Um, I, it was uh, really pleased with the way the defense came out today, especially in that first half. On DJ, DJ. Uh, DJ's going to be fine. Uh, he's he's just his knee was a little sore, wasn't worth pushing it. Same thing with Bryce Hall. His ankle was a little sore, didn't want to push it. So they're they're both fine. I don't um, I don't want to come off as overly negative, but the uh, you made a comment like the second team went in offensively. The second team offense went in and executed and moved right down the field against the same defense. Yeah. Well, the second team's not going to start against the Ravens. It's going to be the first team. So when the first team doesn't execute it and the second team does execute it, I mean, where's the, the disconnect? No, it, it's, again, it's the first time this group has been out there, those five. Uh, and there is no excuses. The, the mindset, the mentality, the physicality, the uh, all of it needs to get better. Um, but at the same time, I'm not discouraged. We have a really good group of guys, and there's no doubt that they'll get to where they need to go. Uh, but it was, if, if anything, it's it's a good good little wake-up call. Get your... Get yourselves moving. Robert, I know you don't want to see anyone get hurt, but the Clements playing as violent as he did in the hit on high rod is a clean hit. Um, just, you know, what do you think of the way he's playing and just kind of the, the violence he's playing with? That's uh, him. That's what we saw in college. That's what we knew we were getting. Um, he has lived up to exactly what we've were, we've expected. And uh, his mindset, his attitude, his uh, effort, his just everything about him is awesome. So really happy with where he's at, um, you know, and, and a lot of respect for Tyrod. I, you know, thankfully, I think he's going to be okay. And uh, but uh, regardless, just just his mindset and the way he plays, he's re- absolutely relentless. And uh, just happy we got him. The 
couple times we've talked to him, I mean, he's a rather intimidating person, both in terms of stature and then the deep voice, the way he talks, the pausing in between when he actually talks. Is he ever, like, intimidating to, to you guys? Like when You know, you, you when to... you get to know somebody long enough, um, he's, he's uh, well, he, he'll flip a switch, but, uh, but he's, uh, he's a good man and he's got a good heart. And because of it, you know that um, he's going to be all right. So. Robert, it seemed like Rucker wasn't part of the plan early, you know, I know late in the game. Is he still catching up from, from his injury? Um, it, it's, there, it's a combination of the, the foot and along, along with the playbook. You're, you're talking about missing all of OTAs, most of training camp, and, uh, and our offense is not exactly the easiest when it comes to the amount of formations and movement that it has from the initial get. But uh, really love where he's at. Um, I can, I, I'm very confident in that, in that Ruckert's going to be a really good tight end in this league. Very confident. And uh, once he gets cowed up, it'll, it'll all come to fruition. Robert, I know you have, you know, guys are banged up in the secondary, but have you seen enough from Sauce to say that he's going to be a week one starter? Yeah, he's, he's our, he's going to be our week one starter. Uh, he's been, he's been fantastic. Bryce Hall has had a really good training camp also. Um, but, uh, but at the same time with, the overall body of work over the over the last since OTAs, it's uh, it's clear that the, the kids can be pretty good. Obviously, have a lot of big roster decisions to make. Any of those maybe kind of bubble sort of guys kind of pop for you today? You think? Yeah, there's uh, we're going to have a lot of discussions. There's a lot of guys who uh, made a strong case for themselves today. Um, uh, really excited to get to the tape and just kind of iron it out. And you know, we've we've uh, we've got a cool roster. There's going to be a lot of guys that may not be here that I'm very confident will end up on someone else's 53-man roster. And uh, Joe and his, staff, and his staff has done a really, really good job of building a really good 90-man roster. And now, obviously, we're down to 80. But um, it's, it's, it's going to be fun to kind of see how this works out over the next couple of days. But uh, really confident about the locker room and the guys. And, and that there's a lot of guys in there that have not played their last down in the NFL. We're, it's, it's pretty cool. To, it's going to be cool to see where the, how this all shakes out. What are these next 40? 40, 45 hours like Robert just trying to make these decisions? Um, they're tough, uh, especially when you get to a point, and hopefully in the future it gets even harder. Um, but when you know you're going to have to say goodbye to an NFL player, that's hard. Um, these next 48 hours for me, and I, I can speak for our coaching staff and Joe and his staff, they're absolutely miserable because you're, um, you're having to say goodbye to somebody you've been with since OTAs and some guys you've been with since last year. And... Uh, it's uh, this is this is the worst part of the job. This is the worst part of this game. Uh, but uh, you know, it's one of those necessary evils. But it's going to be there's going to be some heated discussions, especially with some of those rooms. Is this on a, a testament, I, I guess, a little bit to Joe and and you and the way you guys have built out this roster? That I assume when time comes to fill out the practice squad, you're gonna. I mean, you're talking about cutting NFL players. I mean, you're going to want to bring your own back home as opposed to. To go and, and pick the, the you know, carcass of, of other teams that maybe in the past been more successful. No, 100 percent. Especially since the, the practice squad rosters are so much bigger than they were in the past. Um, you know, Joe, Joe and his staff they're so detailed, so detailed in how uh, and so adamant about communication and making sure that everything is collaborative and and he's so decisive and they're so um, we're all in lockstep with exactly what we're all looking for and. Uh, so credit to him and his staff and, and what he's been able to, to bring here from a 90-man roster standpoint. And, you know, it's just continue, continue to build it. Uh, you'd love to get 19 of our own. I think it's not, or 16 of our own, I'm sorry, uh, for practice squad. It's almost like added depth because you know that they're all NFL players and they can play. And But, again, we'll see how it all shakes out with the waiver wires and all that stuff. So. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Joe, what, um, what was your main objective out of today? Well, I think initially you, you want to go out there, you want to go through pregame.